Okay, let's explore this equivalent units question, and it deals with the FIFO method. I'll read the problem in front of you. During August, the filtering department of Olive Inc. had, had beginning transferred in balance of 200 units with cost of $50,000. During the month, it started and completed 250 units. It had 50 units in the ending work and process inventory. What is the number of equivalent units of production for transferred in units in the filtering department in August under the first in first out method? Okay, you can see I've structured the problem the same way that it's taught, right? We have to account for the physical units and once we understand the physical units, then we can calculate the equivalent units for direct uh, uh, material and direct labor. But of course this question is only asking for the physical units to account for. Alright, so let's start filling in the information. The beginning inventory is 200 units. They tell us that. Beginning units. Then they have units started during August, but they don't tell us that directly. So let's skip over that for a minute. If we know the beginning inventory was 200 on the second part of the schedule, where we're going to calculate the equivalent units for direct materials and direct labor, we enter that 200 as well. Now, they tell us how many units were started and completed. That was 250. And they tell us that ending inventory was 50 units, right? Therefore, the total units to account for, if we use Excel's sum function, which you can see right there in cell C20, is 500. All right, now at this point, we could work backwards and we could say, well, the total units to account for in this cell, cell C14, is 500. Therefore, units started in August have to be 300. Okay? Or we can just think through now how, why the units started during August is 300. And by the way, that's, that's the question they're looking for. What's the unit, or excuse me, what's the number of equivalent units of production for transferred in? To the filtering department. And we really could relate, uh, relabel this as units started or units transferred in, right? I mean, what we started meant it's units that were transferred in that we had to begin working on this period. Let me sort of move that over for you. Okay. And now, why is it 300? Because it's going to be equivalent to the the numbers it started and completed plus what it had in ending inventory. Remember this is FIFO. The first ones in are the first ones out. Therefore, whatever we started in handing in and had in ending inventory must have been what was transferred in because it certainly wasn't what was in beginning inventory. Okay? And then I can just put that some function in there, show it, and uh, that's how we would solve this problem. Okay, and sometimes you see these are double underlined, but the answer they're really searching for is that one right there. Maybe I'll bold it for you.